Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little experiment with rice. Exciting, huh? So I was on Amazon recently and I was... Oh, let me backtrack. I cook rice a lot. I love chicken and rice. And I always just cook it um, on the pot, like on the stove. And, you know, I put in two cups of water, two cups of rice, and I cook it, and it's fine. Everything's great. And then I started thinking, you know, I know there's such thing as rice cookers. So I'll go ahead and look on Amazon to see if there's a rice cooker. And better yet, I'll save electricity by using a 12-volt rice cooker on, like, a power station and just charge it up every once in a while. That was my thinking. But is that true? And that's what I want to find out today. What I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to use this 12-volt rice cooker I got on Amazon right here. Um, I think it supports up to, it says it supports up to three cups of rice and three cups of water, but I wouldn't go that high. Uh, in this experiment, I'm only going to be doing one cup of rice and one cup of water for each experiment. And so I'm going to be starting with the 12-volt uh, and actually, I'm going to leave the 12 volt for last because I want to see just how much energy I'm saving by using this 12 volt one instead. So I'm also going to be using a 120 volt version of basically the same thing. It's the same capacity. It just says it takes half as long. I'm also going to be using a new wave induction cooktop and I'm going to go ahead and try to just run it at 1200 watts, boil that water as fast as I can and put that rice in, let it settle for five minutes, yada, yada, yada. And I will also be using a 700 watt microwave. I will be microwaving it for whatever the box of rice says I should. Um, I think the box is kind of basing everything on an 1100 watt microwave and this is 700 watts so I might add a couple minutes. But to see how much energy I'm actually using, uh, I'm going to be using a power station. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill that power station to 100% so my meter doesn't show any more wattage coming into the power station. And then I'm going to use the power station for each one of these uh, appliances. I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in into a meter and that meter will show me how many watt hours it took to charge that power station back up. And so that way it doesn't really matter what the efficiency of the charging rate of the power station is since it's going to be the same for all of this equipment. So hopefully I get some good results. Hopefully I find out this 12 volt uh, rice cooker is way more efficient than everything else. But that's really what I want to find out. So let's get started. All right, and the power station I'm going to be using is this Opus 1500 watt uh, Exodus version. Um, it is plugged into a meter right now and it is still charging at 45.6 watts. Even though uh, this thing said 100% when I plugged it in. And it's been charging for 10 to 15 minutes and it's gone down from 200 watts to now 45 watts. So once this gets done charging and that meter says zero, we'll start our test. All right, well, the Exodus 1500 is all charged up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the microwave. Let's turn on the AC, plug in the microwave, and let's go ahead and measure out our rice. Like I said before, we're gonna be using a cup of rice along with a cup of water. But we're not gonna be using water, we're gonna be using chicken broth because honestly, I've never used chicken broth before instead of water, but I've heard that if you use chicken broth, it makes the rice taste a lot better. So we're gonna use that for the first time in this experiment. I forgot to bring a fork down, so I'm just going to stir it with my finger. Don't do this at home. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on, but I'm gonna leave it so a little bit of air can get out, so I don't want this thing to explode.
And on the back of the rice, it does say that for uh, one cup of rice and one cup of water, your microwaving instruction should be six minutes, but it does say microwaving ovens vary. Uh, cooking times are approximate. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it for seven minutes because I really think they're thinking of a 1100 watt microwave when this is just a 700 watt. So seven minutes, here we go. All right, our microwave has just started and I just wanted to show you that this is a 700 watt microwave, but that doesn't mean it's pulling 700 watts. It's actually pulling 1160 watts because it's the cooking wattage of the microwave, not the actual wattage that the microwave uses. Just keep that in mind. I'll be back in six and a half minutes when this rice is done. All right, our rice is done. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. And the rice does say that you should keep it covered for five minutes, which this is not gonna stay covered very well, but that's fine. All right, so now we're gonna take our Opus 1500 and plug it back into the meter, and we're gonna see how much electricity it takes to charge this back up to 100%. I made sure to reset my meter, so let's go ahead and plug it in. The Exodus does say it's at 94%, just so you know. All right, so when this gets back up to 100%, I'll let you know the results, and then uh, we'll start with the next test. All right, so the results are in for the microwave, and what we have is 172 watt hours. That's the that's the number of watt hours that it took to charge this Opus 1500 back up to 100% after using this microwave for seven minutes. So the next test we're gonna do is the induction cooktop. What we're gonna do is put a cup of the chicken broth in, get it to a boil, pour in our rice, take it off the induction cooktop and let it sit for five minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the unit, turn on the AC, plug in our induction cooktop, Measure out a cup of chicken broth, pour it into our pot, and start it up. And we are going to go ahead and run it at its highest wattage, which is 1300 watts. So, and we'll put the lid on it as well, because we're going to try to make this as, as efficient as possible. 1300 watts, high heat, put the lid on, and start. I'm going to go ahead and set a timer so we can see how long it takes to boil. The Opus is running at right around 1187 watts. All right, I went ahead and changed it to max sear, so that way we're using the full, uh, the full power of the uh, induction cooktop. So now we're pouring, so now we're pulling 1270 watts. And look at that, our water is already boiling. Measure out our rice, turn this off, pour our rice in. Let's go ahead and stir it up and let it sit for five minutes. That only ran for two minutes and 45 seconds. So a lot faster than the microwave. While that's waiting, let's go ahead and start charging this back up. So that induction cooktop was very fast. And again, I did have it on max sear at the 1300 watt limit. So we were basically running it as fast as we could. And the Opus, uh, the state of charge indicator never went below 100. So I have a feeling the induction cooktop is the clear winner so far. Now you have to remember that this Opus, um, it does have its efficiencies. The DC efficiency of this Opus when I tested it was right around 82 to 83% efficient. And the AC efficiency was around 86 to 87% efficient. So we had to put that into consideration while we're doing this test. Okay, the Opus is all charged up. Let's find out how many watt hours it took. Wow, uh, 77 watt hours is all it took to charge this battery back up after cooking a cup of rice from the induction cooktop. That, uh, that is amazing. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, AC powered rice cooker and find out what that is. All right, cup of rice, cup of chicken broth. Stir it up a little bit, put the lid on, turn on the AC, plug it in and flip the switch. All right, this is a 200 watt 
AC rice cooker. And right now this does show 240 watts. It also says that it'll take about 15 minutes for this to cook. Uh, but let me go ahead and just start a timer. And, uh, and I'll let you know exactly how long it takes. All right, well this rice cooker just got switched over from cooking to keep warm. And it took a little over 16 minutes. So let's go ahead and charge this Opus back up and see what our watt hour count is. All right, well the portable power station is all charged back up after using this AC rice cooker. So let's find out what the kilowatt hours are. And it was 80 watt hours. So 80 watt hours it took to charge that battery back up. So I was actually fairly impressed with that. Um, I thought it would have been higher, but we're gonna go with it. And now we're gonna start with the DC rice cooker. And this DC rice cooker does have like a top plate where you can kind of cook. You can actually cook like your chicken on top of here and then cook the rice underneath. But we won't be using that today. All right, cup of rice. Stir it up. Put the lid on and then we'll go ahead and power on the DC and plug it in. And we'll put it to cooking. Now it does say that this is a 100 watt rice cooker and the Opus right now is using 111 uh, that's showing on the screen. This does say it'll take about a half hour so I'll see you then. All right well this DC rice cooker just turned off and it's been a little over 24 minutes. So let me go ahead and unplug this, turn off the DC. So let's charge this Opus back up and see how many watt hours it takes. All right, well the Opus Exodus 1500 is all charged back up. So let's see how many watt hours it took to cook rice in a DC rice cooker. And we have 62 watt hours. Now, honestly, I'm pretty surprised about that. After watching the induction cooktop uh, boil up that water in two minutes and 45 seconds, I was kind of like, oh, we're, we're looking at a contender here. But if you go from worst to first, the microwave is actually by far the worst. It took 172 watt hours to charge that Opus back up after we used the microwave for seven minutes. Uh, when it comes to the induction cooktop, it took 77 watt hours. Uh, the AC rice cooker, it took 80 watt hours. So on those two fronts, it really depends on how fast you want it to get done. Do you care that it takes 15, 16 minutes? Or do you want your rice to be done in, you know, in around seven or eight minutes? Uh, and then the DC rice cooker, even though the efficiency of the DC side of the Opus is roughly the same as the AC side, it still only needed 62 watt hours to charge back up to 100%. And now just think if you had the DC rice cooker wired directly to a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. I mean, you could shave off that other 15% of efficiencies because you'd be basically running it directly from the battery to the unit. So you're looking at actually using up around 53 or 54 uh, watt hours of capacity. In these findings, using the equipment that I have and the methods that I used, it definitely does look like a DC rice cooker is the way to go for cooking rice. And it probably will work pretty well for cooking soups or veggies and stuff like that also. So I really hope that this video gave you a little bit of insight on something. I thought it was actually pretty interesting. So thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye bye.